Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. In this video we're going to be answering the question of how to add in Excel. So we're going to cover over a real quick simple way of how you can add two numbers together and just show you obviously a quicker way to do that using a function we have built into the uh, into Excel itself. If you haven't already uh, please take this opportunity to subscribe to the channel. Uh, when you do so hit that bell notification button just to the side of the subscribe button so you're notified of all of our future videos as they come out. So how to add an Excel? Well, the two primary ways, and we'll start with the, the basic, is in our example we have here, we've got a simple table that shows the month down the left-hand side, and we can see for 2018 and 2019, we've got, some, uh, we've got a number of sales per month. Admittedly, we are only in October at point of recording, so if you see numbers here for November and December, don't worry about those, it's just for example purposes anyway. So in the scenario that we wanted to just add uh, 2018 and 2019 together, so we could see for the month of January, what's the total sales we've had uh, across those two years. Uh, probably not a scenario that you're wanting to do, but it just helps demonstrate with two numbers. We can simply add two together by doing our equal symbol and then selecting our first number, which is in the cell reference C6, holding down shift and finding our plus button on our keyboards and then selecting the second number of 19 here. And hit enter, and you can see that you've got the total of those two numbers combined. And if you wanted that all the way down our table, all you need to do is uh, hover over the corner of the cell where you'll see this uh, black square has appeared. And when you hover over there, you'll see you get a black crosshair. You can just sort of see slightly how the mouse changes as you hover over that corner. And just drag that down and you can see that that has populated the total uh, for those two numbers for each uh, corresponding row. So that's one way that we can do the addition. And I'm just going to clear that just so we can start from fresh. When it comes down to totaling uh, a number or, or more than just one or two numbers, well not more, obviously more than one, two or more numbers, uh, obviously we have another option available to us. So rather than going and following our first example of doing uh, first number plus second number plus third number, as you could do, we can simply replace this by just doing equals and then typing the word sum and then opening in brackets. So by typing in sum as we've done here in the open brackets, we're now using the sum function that we have available to us in Excel. So in order to use this, all we now need to do is rather than using the plus symbol between every number, all we need to do is select the starting point or the row, first row that contains the numbers we want to add together, click and drag so we highlight all of those cells and then we can close our brackets by doing hold down shift and the number zero. So your formula will look like this at the bottom here or you can see it better there in the formula bar. Once you've done that, just hit enter and you can see we now get a total for that full range. Um, if we want to extend that further to this next column, all we need to do again is drag that bottom right corner across and you can see the totals have added. And the real benefit of using this as if we did the additional sum or use the individual additions, if we remove some of the numbers, you can see that the total is automatically updated for us as well. So this is why using when you're using totals, it's key to keep a formula in there so it's constantly dynamic and updating as your data changes. So we hope you found that interesting and that gives you an answer to your question on how uh, you can add your two numbers together or use the sum function. Um, and it's also worth just mentioning actually, going back to our first example, you can actually even use the sum function with just two numbers as well if you wish. There is no limitation on the range size. Um, it's just obviously you don't really need to use a function if you're just doing the two numbers. But again, I hope you found that video interesting. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification button so you're notified of any of our videos uh, as soon as they come available on the channel. Uh, if you could as well, if you did enjoy the video, please do give it a like. It's not only appreciated by us uh, and obviously shows us the content that you like to see and want to see more of, but it's obviously also going to be beneficial to the channel uh, to help with that YouTube al algorithm. So lastly, thank you very much for watching and we shall see you in the next video. Before you go, don't forget to check out the other videos on our channel. You'll see everything from other functions and formulas through to tips and tricks. We've also created some playlists so you can see these categorized together. So make sure you check those out and get all those useful information. And obviously, as always, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button.